Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Raz. In this video, uh, we're going to learn the standard guideline for reporting clinical trials or the randomized trials. Okay, so the randomized trials are the interventional studies. So uh, there are standard guidelines to uh, prepare the articles or the research papers to report the randomized uh, clinical trials. So let's uh, go to the steps directly. So in Google, you type, um, there is a CO and YASO RT consort guideline. Okay, so remember the term CO and YASO RT. So uh, when you type this in the Google or any search engine, uh, you will be greeted with the website. Okay, so there is a link over here. Consort, welcome to the consort website, and then click on that particular uh, link. Okay, so it's consortstatement.org, and on the right of this website, you can see consort 2010 checklist, consort 2010 flow diagram, statement, and the explanation document okay so let's go to the checklist first so you can uh, open this checklist okay so you can just click and then there is the maxshop word file doc file you can save this file okay and then click and open so it takes a while to open the word document okay so there are other uh, documents which you can open side by side okay so there is okay here we go let me enable editing for this document so here you can see console 2010 checklist of information to include when reporting a randomized trial and there are different sections or topics over here on the left so you can see title and abstract okay introduction background and objectives methods trial design, participants, interventions, outcomes, sample size, randomization sequence, uh, blinding, statistical methods, results, discussion and other information like registration protocol and funding. And there is the description of each of those topics over here. And there is a separate column for page number. So this is the reporting guideline okay or the reporting checklist so you can specify the page number of your article on which page number there is a title and abstract in which page number there is introduction background and objective which includes these following items okay so this is quite useful to prepare a research paper related to randomized trial or the clinical trial okay so if you see another uh, flow diagram so you might have seen in the research papers related to randomized trials and the flow diagram okay so let me click on that flow diagram and you can save this file the file will be downloaded and then you can uh, click on that particular file so here is the console 2010 flow diagram so in your research, what is the number of participants assessed for eligibility, how many of them were excluded, how many of them were randomized, and then out of those that were randomized, um, the allocation groups, okay, so what, what, what number of people were allocated to intervention, uh, and what number of people were allocated to next intervention or the placebo, and then the follow-up and the analysis. So this is the flowchart popularly used in the research papers you might have seen in the journals okay similarly uh, if you want to see the detailed guidelines okay you can click these documents so concert 2010 statement so 2010 is the latest revision occurred in 2010 okay uh, so these are the latest documents so when the revisions will occur you can see the updates in the concert statement.org website but for now, these are the latest documents, okay? So if you want to see the digital documents, you can just click over them. And then you will see very long documents, okay? So the detailed explanation of each of those items. It's a 28-page document which says Council 2010 Explanation and Elaboration 
updated guidelines for reporting parallel group randomized trials and there is a detailed explanation on each of those frameworks checklist okay even it contains what to include in the journal abstract okay so what are the different items to be included so several of them so this is the standard guideline okay if if you check the wikipedia page of this consort okay so consort statement if you if you type in google um and see the wikipedia uh, wikipedia page okay um, you can see under the impact you can see that over 600 journals and editorial groups worldwide now endorse this consort including the Lancet okay, British Medical Journal Journal of American Medical Association New England Journal of Medicine World Association of Medical Editors and International Committee of Medical Journal Editors so the top medical journals and the editorial groups have already endorsed CONSORT, C-O-N-S-O-R-T, which stands for Consolidated Standards of Reporting Trials to report the clinical trials, to report the trials. So this is uh, mostly used in the medical field, but these days the clinical trials, uh, sorry, the randomized trials are being used in many other disciplines, including agriculture, including um, businesses, and many others okay so thank you guys this was about the standard guideline for reporting and writing the clinical trials hope you liked it if you think that this uh, guideline is useful if you think that this video is useful please share it with your colleagues um, and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed thank you see you in the next tutorial bye bye cheers